Hello friends, in this video I will be showing you practically how we can create a data foundation in the information design tool. This is our second step uh, to create a universe in information design uh, tool. Okay, so the theory section I have already covered. That link for that video is available in this video description. You can go through it uh, first if to understand the concepts related to the data foundation so that it will better understand these practical examples. So, to start with the data foundation, how we can start means this is the uh, information designs tool which I have opened. I have created one test project here. Uh, I have already shown you how you how we can create a test project, then uh, created a test connection, uh, local connection, and uh, sacred connection, which I have uh, covered in our other video. So, first step we have created a test connection. Then what need we need to do? We need to create a data foundation for that. You can go to uh, right click the project click new then data foundation so once you select data foundation a window will open where it will ask for the data foundation uh, name so what you can say like it is the test data foundation so this is data foundation you can give some description here um, just to understand means if you uh, what what is the data foundation is all about a business justification uh, description if you want I'll just give some once you click on this next it will ask for single source or multi source so single source will have on, only connecting to uh, one single database Multi source will have multiple connections and multiple. So, uh, we will cover about multi source later in our course. But for, for now, I'm selecting single source, which will have single connection database and it was to be published locally or on secret server. So, after selecting single server, click on OK. So, uh, see, these are the two connections which are uh, created. So, this is a local connection and this is secret, which is published on the repository. So while creating a data uh, data foundation, you need to select secure connection because when you are creating a secure uh, selecting a secure connection and then creating a business layer after you complete the business layer design, you need to publish it to a repository. So if you have the secure connection, then only you will able to publish it to repository. Otherwise, if you if you are choosing a local connection, then it will not allow to publish uh, it to the repository so let's i have taken desk connection uh, which is uh, uh, secret connection the same which i have published so now once uh, once i finish it this is a data foundation editor which gets open so the first thing is uh, this is a connection you see on the left side then if you click on this data foundation it will have this is a data foundation tab analysis context parameters and list of values so this uh, i will be covering in a detail in next uh, sessions so for now the connection will be this is a connection which is about um, which i have already uh, created and i have selected so these are the available uh, databases uh, under this it will show up here uh, so the data foundation ed editor will be having these joints and table this is the main uh, window which which will have this table so basically data foundation is a schema design based on the relational database tables uh, so what are the tables we are adding it here we will join them with based on their relationships and then once we are uh, done with the data foundation design then we will uh, be building a business layer on the on top of uh, data foundation so the first uh, this is the second step which we will be creating a data foundation so now um, once we have created a data foundation uh, we need to add some of the tables here so what we need to do there are different different tab, uh, um, options which we can uh, use to insert the tables so here is one option insert tables so if you click on this insert tables uh, it will the new window will open and in motors db so i can just select it from here so whatever the tables i wanted to add it here so I will select some of the tables which I uh, wanted to show you uh, means for the testing purpose. Then the region, I will select cell. 
cell five range cell model and style. Okay, so this is the window where you will see it will ask if you want to automatically detect joins then you can select this option detect joins coordinate for now I am not selecting I just uh, I can just finish it now if you see this has been created here so let me zoom it so if you see this is the uh, window which is uh, means having this uh, all the dead uh, tables which I have created so the other way is you can drag it from here as well this ta table uh, this from here so once you add it here you will see means so these are these are tables which you got added and it will have this uh, properties here on the bottom side which we should have table that uh, table qualifier or uh, some uh, description then what are the columns uh, what are its data type, uh, display size, decimal, whether it is on a side, a label, visible. This is the properties which are uh, taken from the database. Uh, the same uh, whatever design at the database level. So this is the way we can insert the, this from here or we can just drag and drop here uh, these tables. These are the two ways uh, we can add uh, insert tables in the data condition. <clears throat> okay so now i'll be showing you how we can add a joins uh, joins uh, so these are the different different tables which i have add, added so now these are the standalone uh, tables which got added to the data foundation it doesn't mean anything means it will not give the accurate results so to get the accurate results we must need to have the join conditions with our, our so what are the join condition we need to specify between each uh, these tables so for that purpose what we need to do uh, we can uh, do a joins if you know means uh, from here to here uh, with these tables suppose if you know that means these are the tables means i need to join client id and client id this you can just drag it from uh, that field to here and once you done this you can um, this question mark uh, let me show you this this question mark it does mean that means the cardinality is not uh, set means whether it is one to many menu to one relationship so for that purpose what you need to do you need to double click on this line uh, this window would get, get open that is edit join so this you will see this condition you can validate is as well means it is it will uh, say that is validated so you need to detect the coordinate if you know the coordinate then you can directly manually set it here if you don't know then what you can do you can just use this uh, detect option which uh, from the data perspective the tool will automatically detect the coordinate so that means uh, coordinate means the one um, client id is matches with the multiple uh, client id from cells so one client have multiple cells uh, ids in this cells table so you can say just one okay so this is got created so this is one way the other way to insert a join means you can go to this insert insert join now, now that is one thing means uh, we, if you want to add it manually uh, there is also option detect joins where you can uh, click on this detect joins and you can uh, on what basis we wanted to detect joins whether it is a database keys or column names if you want to uh, like column names if you are uh, sure that means if the column names are same between these tables then we can select if you database keys means primary key foreign key if you want to select based on that means then we can select that first let, let's try with the column names so it will suggest whatever the database uh, joins it, it is available so the first one is client and region id so this is region dot region id if you see client dot country id so this is also uh, same client dot country id dot maker dot maker I, uh, country id so this is again uh, the join which which is there uh, then region uh, client dot client id is equal to region dot uh, country id 
these are the different different joints so many times uh, these all joints are not necessary and it uh, it unnecessarily create uh, different different joints and it will be uh, hard to understand uh, means the structure of the uh, joints so it's better to uh, add it add the manual joints from our understanding means if you have the um, if you, if you have the uh, if you know the relationship between the tables and which tables we need to join so it's better to add it from here like uh, click on this insert then insert join and from here you will see different different tables so for client what i need client id so from this uh, what i need i just need cell dot client id so is equal to then uh, i will detect the join as well um, uh, cardinality and um, click on okay okay so the, i'll just finish this Uh, okay, this is sales. This is client ID. Is equal to. Okay. Okay, I guess we already created here. Yeah, this is already we have created. Let's create another join which is uh, we we can add it here. Let's uh, say uh, showroom and showroom ID, which I need to add with the sale uh, sale showroom ID. Detect. Check the cardinality; it will automatically detect. If you feel that means the cardinality is not correct, uh, then you can change it manually there as well. So let's uh, let's add few joints here. Means uh, the same way which is I am adding here. Um, let's say means uh, I need I need country, then country ID and region. Detect join. So this is again um, related to the country and region. I need to add a region, a region ID with the client ID as well. So as this tool is very flexible, actually means we can uh, means. The tool can detect the joins, can detect the coordinates. It's very to de develop the uh, data foundation if our database is well organized. So for model, uh, let's uh, have a style ID. I need. So all these are equi equivalents. Whatever I am adding here, okay. So if you now, if you see this, all the joints which are got added here. Now these are all equivalents. Equivalents means if you see means all these conditions are uh, is equal to. Um, means if you see this is also one condition which is there, so which can I identify? So if you want to specify outer join means you can select this outer join. So if you select outer join, if you see this cardinality get changed. So based on that condition which we wanted to change, so we can have this outer join. Let's. Uh, so these are the equi joints which we can add. Now let's um, learn about uh, theta joints. How we can add a theta joints? So theta joints is uh, to specify the range uh, uh, between like start date and end date. So how we can specify? We can use the same like insert uh, join. So suppose I wanted to have uh, cell date. And from here, uh, what I'll do, I'll select five uh, between cell date between. So this is one operator which I wanted to have. So it is a B start date, a start date, and end. This is a B start date. And I need to select when when we are creating a shortcut join. We need to select this shortcut join uh, checkbox here. 
uh, then we can have this between or else what what we can do so uh, means if I, if i say um, if we start and if i select these two fields it will get automatically added here and we can just validate here so uh, this is an uh, means the way means we can add a shortcut join we just need to select the shortcut join uh, the field and then uh, these two fields you can delete the cardinality so it is many to one uh, the cardinality so we can just select one so this is the way we can have this uh, if you see this this is uh, different join a dotted join you can say a break line uh, like that uh, these joins are different see. now the third type is about uh, column filter how we can add a column filter so column filter are nothing but uh, it's it's like uh, self self join we can say where uh, for a particular table we can just add some field which will give some data so suppose this is a cell table and i just wanted to report um, get the sales data only where the cell type is uh, yes okay so what what we uh, can do insert then uh, from here uh, what you can do on this table let me say this is insert allies table derive table these are not but there is a filter option Okay, insert. From here, we can add insert. From here, let's say means we need to add is equal to cell type is equal to S, and we can say it's a shortcut join. Okay, so now if you see, if you see this is this is one type. Uh, it got added here automatically. where this this table will just give the data which is having cell type is equal to s so this is the way we can add a column filter so uh, for cell type uh, it will just give the data for a cell type so this is this is how we can create a data foundation if you see means the other properties so for client uh, for for each table it will have this properties properties column you will see all this tables data type integer if you want to change it from here we can change it if you want at database level for column level as so means it is having display size decimal or digit on a level or on a sign data type we can change it if you want to make it visible invisible if you want to make it invisible like he hidden then we can make it from here uh, if you click on join it will show the expression here in below then uh, you, you, this is this is a shortcut join which is there so if you want to means arrange this means you can just arrange it uh, like this it got arranged uh, very means neat and clean means how it looks then other options uh, you will see these are the connections of option data foundation if we once in the data foundation whenever we see means joins you will see these joins here if you want uh, if you just wanted to go to the particular join here means you just suppose you want to uh, edit this join so you, instead of going to the table structure you can join it here from here and just change it uh, the properties here see and then tables how many tables are there so for each table if you want to insert filter column so you can do this Okay, uh, so 
this is all about data foundation how we can create uh, data foundation this is just a simple database the more complicated databases and more concepts related to the data foundation i will be taking in next uh, coming sessions with the theory and uh, then their practical examples there are other concepts like loops uh, how loops occurs means uh, what is loops uh, in data foundation so that is in the next uh, unit so that uh, we will be going to cover in a detail uh, so so this is the data foundation which got created and based on this data foundation we can create a business layer so for business layer i'll be taking another uh, session uh, to explain in, in, it in detail uh, so this is all about data foundation i hope you have understood this concept if you have any question then please put it in the comment section and also uh, please subscribe to my uh, channel so that you will get to know about my next unit video thank you for watching